thought, well, I had the PS3 on, I'll show you guys the um, Japanese PlayStation Store. So it's fairly easy to set up multiple accounts. So I've got a European, American, and Japanese account there, so I can check out videos and whatnot uh, on all of the marketplaces. So we'll go into the Japanese Store. Of course, it's all in Japanese, but I'll show you the easiest way just to see what's um, like new. Basically, you just use this menu on the side. You don't worry about any of these. Um, so you just basically check back time to time and check the date and see what's been updated. You just tap on them, see what it is. That's Ragdoll Kung Fu. I don't know, some crazy video, Samurai or something. So you can just download. You get a lot of videos and things about games that aren't released, like in the West. So, like, no English translations, but you can still get an idea of what's out there. PSP stuff, King of Fighters add-ons. Uh, that's the Tenchu game for PSP that's coming out. I don't know whether that's going to come out like um, like in America or whether it's going to come out to Europe, but it actually looks pretty cool. I think that's the same thing. Yeah, it looks like you can actually buy the game now on the Japanese PSN or their add-ons for it. Some crazy Japanese game, I don't know. Another PSP game here. Yeah, basically, you can go in and you can search through the whole store and try and find bits and pieces in there. There's heaps of stuff, um, heaps of videos as well of games that you've probably never heard of and probably never will hear of. And um, I mean, a lot of it's just rubbish. But yeah, it's definitely good to have. They've got a massive PS1 selection. I mean, if you could buy prepaid Japanese uh, PSN cards and actually buy. Uh, PlayStation games, like off their marketplace, they've got so many more like original PlayStation 1 games and like, yeah, the selection is just massive compared to the American and the Australian still. Oh, more freaky Japanese crap. Yep. Yep, more weird stuff. And then you can search by you know, letter, number, whatever the hell that is. Anyway, that's basically the Japanese store at the moment. There's pretty much your bugger all on there. But, um, yeah, good idea to set one up. You can get a bit of an updated info, especially when Tokyo Game Show's on, you get all the latest videos and things on this before you'll get them anywhere else. So, yeah, it's good to have set up. Anyway, that's just a quick run-through.